I don't even, what, what am I doing with these titles anymore, man? I don't even know. It gets really hard to title these videos after doing so many. Okay, well, what's up, everybody, man? Back, welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be doing another Godzilla X-Kong news roundup. That's right, in this video, we will be continuing our chronological journey through the development of Godzilla X-Kong, the new empire, by talking about events that happened in November of 2022. <laughs> Looks like I didn't grab any art for this video, that's on me, but we'll talk about something super irrelevant. So it was reshared around this time, that weird nerdist Godzilla King of the Monsters hydraulic press video. I just wanted to mention it again because what a weird time in history that we lived through where that was a real popular trend. Also weird how bloated the ad campaign for Godzilla King of the Monsters was. I'm glad that they kind of simplified things for Godzilla vs. Kong and I hope Godzilla X Kong the New Empire has not as limited of an ad campaign as Godzilla vs. Kong did, but I hope it has a smart ad campaign than Godzilla King of the Monsters did. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, moving on, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Barnes from Godzilla King of the Monsters, and also one of the two people responsible for trying to launch Monarch G-Team, the Godzilla Monsterverse anime spinoff. Again, if you want to hear more about that, go check out my last video. That's in our hands now. It's up for us, the fans, to try and get some noise to make that thing happen. So I want to mention it every chance I can get. O'Shea Jackson Jr. and Chris Mirjahangir, shout out and also challenge again. I'm going to challenge you guys all the time. When the strike is over, come on the channel and let's promote this thing. O'Shea Jackson Jr. shares some details on the filming of Mothra's death from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Here's some behind the scenes info he gave us on Twitter. He says, The scene was absolutely brutal to film because they were just blasting flashing lights in the actor's eyes while yelling things like, And Mothra's headed for Ghidorah! And you're about to see her sacrifice herself! Oh no! And cut. Which I think as an actor would be a very strange and silly thing to try and respond to and give an emotional performance to. It cuts together well. I really like that scene in the movie. He also says that it was heartbreaking knowing that he would be working on Godzilla every single day and would not get to see the monster in action for over a year and a half and that is true that's crazy to think about and that's something we don't think about much but how long the actors actually have to wait to see the final products of these movies and they don't even know what the final product is gonna be or how much of it the, they're gonna be in or or anything like that and with Godzilla versus Kong that was a particularly long wait period with COVID all right getting into the Godzilla X Kong the New Empire news Godzilla X Kong the New Empire wrapped filming in Australia on November 9th 2022. That was its official wrap date. So hooray! Shout out to Godzilla X Kong. You guys did it. Gormoru Island shared this slate from Godzilla X Kong to celebrate. This is the Origins slate. And this was to celebrate the end of filming in Australia. We also have a photo of an overhead showing all of their gear. This is in a giant sound stage. I would think that this would normally be used to like build a set. But you can see all the gear lined up there. Legendary, you should give me a call. I'd love to be a PA for you guys. As soon as you pay your actors and writers, give me a call. This this was where things really blew up. This was where this movie started to get its first real attention. <laughs> it was so popular that I remember coming into school and getting texts about it. Like people from school were texting me about this news and my friends were giving me crap all day for how stupid it was. But a crew hat was revealed by KDM and it shows the logo Godzilla and Kong. Now this was what many people assumed the title for the movie was going to be simply because it was on the crew merchandise. KDM did confirm this was not the final title for the movie and obviously nowadays we know it isn't the title is Godzilla X Kong the New Empire which is also a ridiculous title but it's better than Godzilla and Kong Godzilla and Kong sounds like a buddy comedy where the two of them are going to go on a road trip together and hilarity will ensue which could be a great movie but it wouldn't be <laughs> we have the crew merchandise for Godzilla X Kong the New Empire and it was going under the title Godzilla and Kong on set which is very common for crew merchandise to go under a different title super duper common I really like like the actual red logo. It's a very Godzilla vs. Kong styled logo. I really like it. You can also see they've got some Monarch Hollow Earth team water bottles on sale. Standard issue hydration unit. I wonder if these are going to be props in the movie the same way that in Godzilla vs. Kong there was Monarch water bottles. You can also see that there was some crew shirts on sale. There's a Godzilla and Kong banner where it kind of shows Godzilla and Kong going back at it. The two of them sort of fighting together again. I like the red flashing background. That's really cool. And again going under the name Godzilla and Kong and then you get a pick on the back. Customize it for whatever to 
department you're a part of. This is our first official banner, and if I had to guess, this thing's gonna pop up on some toys and merchandise as time goes on, because that's what happened last time. One of the final ones showed this Godzilla and Kong with a pink Kong title and the very blue Godzilla title, which of course was a prelude to the actual final logo we got, which does include pink instead of orange. This shirt is the most interesting of all of them. It's the GNK shirt with the orange logos. I think the orange actually looks really good, and on the back there, you have what appears to be Kong. This is a set deck shirt. This appears to be Kong with glowing orange eyes, set deck manufacturer. So that's who would be able to buy this shirt. And it's got this kind of iwi marking all over it. Now, we do know from KDM, KDM has confirmed that isn't Kong. That is instead the new villain of the movie. I don't know how you could tell that looks like Kong to me. I'm not convinced otherwise. I think <laughs> I think it could just be Kong. KDM claimed that it was the new monster. A standby monitor was revealed for the movie. So this is a monitor on set. I suppose you could say this is a leaked photo from set. This is nothing. The background you're seeing on this monitor, that's when you put the monitors on standby, like a standby wallpaper will pop up instead of displaying the image that the monitor is recording. So this is that wallpaper. So it's nothing special, but I figured I'd mention it. Now we're getting into the filming of Godzilla X Kong again. KDM teased that filming happened in dainty Queensland, and this was being filmed as the Hollow Earth. This is a beautiful location. Holy cow. This location is absolutely gorgeous. I love that little like bungalow up in the trees. That's so beautiful. This is crazy. If they filmed here, if this was like the actual shooting location and not just a photo from Google, man, this movie's going to be gorgeous. I do think even if this isn't going to be in the movie and they're just going to film in these woods, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. I love that they're shooting in real locations in the real wilderness. I really love it because you can tell when you watch a movie, you can tell if they're on location or if they're in a green screen in a soundstage. It's really obvious. Kong Skull Island is a great example of how beautiful it can look if you're shooting on location. The Hollow Earth is also different from Skull Island, so I'm totally chill with them not returning to Vietnam because if they're going to film Skull Island, they should return to Vietnam and Hawaii. If they're going to film the Hollow Earth, go anywhere. Go to Australia. Go to Hawaii. Go wherever you can to get beautiful jungles like this. Oh, I think it's going to be so incredible looking. I just hope that they don't blue screen up the hell out of the jungle so that they can get that upper part of the Hollow Earth, which you can see from the top where it's inverted. As important as that may be for continuity, I think it also makes it look more fake and ugly, and I would prefer to just see the jungle as the jungle and explore it and make it feel bigger and more vast and real. I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited to go to the Hollow Earth in this movie. I think it could be great if they do it right. Here's a photo that is going to be tricky. This, I, I don't know if I can show this off. I'm going to do it, but I don't know if I should. This is a set photo with Adam Wingard and who I think might be Ben Sirisons, the DP for the movie. I think he's on the far left, but here's a set photo of a couple of our key crew members in Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. And I'm glad to see Wingard's having a good time. I hope this was a great experience for him. And if the movie's awesome, like I think it could be, I hope he keeps returning over and over again because I really liked Godzilla vs. Kong and I'm all for the weird Wingardness. I just hope they rein it in a little because from the things I've heard about this movie and I've heard quite a bit very recently from some people who either worked on it or people who know people who worked on it, a lot of the stuff in this movie sounds absurd. So I'm very curious to see how we approach things in the new film. But I'm really excited. All right, this is where things get a little tricky because now we're talking about leaks. We're talking about like real leaks, not like plot leaks. I don't cover plot leaks. I think they're horrible. I think they ruin the experience of the movie and I think they ruin things for both the hardworking people who worked on these movies, those of us who really enjoy speculating, and also general audiences who now get spoiled or who go in with false expectations. These are going to be leaked photos from set that I'm not going to show in this video. Links down below if you need to see them. They're down below. I'm going to describe them to you and try and paint some pictures for you. Going through the leaked photos, in the leaked photos we see military bunkers with blue screens up. I think these might be in the Hollow Earth. Monarch might be establishing bases in the Hollow Earth, or they could be above ground too, like this was not uncommon for Godzilla vs. Kong's filming. We see a helicopter landing at a large lake. I, I don't know what to make of that. I know there's going to be a lot of above ground traveling in this movie as well. We're going to see a lot of the globe in this movie, so it's hard to say what's above ground and what's in the Hollow Earth. There's a large crane holding three enormous lights. We see some pictures of slates. We have filming on the side of a beach with a truck. I don't know if that truck's part of the movie or just there. We filmed where the jungle meets the beach, which could be very beautiful. This might be, again, going back to that whole Godzilla coming out of the water sequence in the film, or it could be a Hollow Earth sequence as well. There is filming in the jungles with massive diffusers that were trying to diffuse the light, filming with a massive crane in the jungle, more filmings with the same massive crane, now strapped to a tank in order to roll around the beach. We have photos of a ship in the ocean. I'm not sure if this ship is going to be part of the film, or what's the deal? It could be a military ship trying to combat some water-based monster in the movie, and then just lots of general photos of the jungle and filming within 
the jungle. There's also some photos of Adam Wingard on set. Again, a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna show in this video because I don't like to mess with that stuff. So I just wanted to acknowledge that it exists because it is an important part of the development of this movie, but not gonna show it. Our final news for the video is that Godzilla vs. Kong started filming in Marquecha, Morocco, which is in North Africa. Yes, they're filming in Morocco. This is a city in Morocco. It seems to be a heavily populated city. KDM teases that Morocco could be substituting for Hollow Earth areas, and that makes me think that we might be going to some temples because a lot of these photos of Morocco show these very temple-like structures, which very well could play into the movie. I personally do believe we are going to not just see Kong's temple in the Hollow Earth, but I also think we're going to see this new Emperor Kong's temple as well, and I think he might have some followers, some people who live in the temple with him. It just seems to be what's been teased so far. So it would make sense that we could be going into some human-sized temples and walking around and dealing with some interior scenes. Some of this stuff was VFX shooting, which was just wide landscapes and stuff, but some of this stuff was actual sequences in the film. It could be above ground too, because I do know we're going to Africa in the movie, at least a little bit. And so this could be substituting for somewhere in Africa that isn't Morocco as well. That's about all I'll say about that. But yeah, KDM teased that this could be substituting for some Hollow Earth areas, and I do think those temples could be appearing in the movie in some fashion, which would be great. I think that'd be really cool. So filming began there, and it didn't last too long, as we'll talk about in the next video, but I wanted to acknowledge it because it does open up the door to some new potentials, and I think we could see some cool stuff, man. I think some monsters are going to be coming up from the Hollow Earth into different areas all over the planet, King of the Monsters style. Although I don't think they're going to be any of the King of the Monsters monsters that we haven't seen yet. I think Wingard's making new monsters because he loves to do that. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. I want to give a huge thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. If you want to check out the Patreon, you can use the link in the description below where you can get early access to content, access to the Discord community, and more. And that'll do it for this. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. D-Man out.